Alright, hello and welcome to another Marvel Snap deck highlight. Today I'm just looking at a, a kind of weird deck when you're just looking at it on paper, but it's just a deck that uses some of my favorite cards, so it kind of looks a little weird, but it feels pretty good actually. Uh, the two key cards in this deck are Valkyrie and Cersei, both being able to flip some of the lanes that we're going to self-clog and really get some good value out of it. Um, and we have both of them. So Cersei is the on reveal of increasing the cost of the cards in your lane by one, but it's a random card. So generally it should be a better card since it costs more, but you know, it's a little, it's a little chaotic. So um, it's not always as, um, clean as it should be uh, and then Valkyrie obviously having the honor reveal of set everything in the lane to three so as long as you have more cards than your opponent you win the game or you win that lane I should say um, we're gonna do this then Cersei this lane um, and then we can and then you'll also get to see in this game my favorite Valkyrie combo. There's a reason you always run Hood with Valkyrie. And that's because Demon on 6 wins you the game. Uh, it's fine. Doesn't matter. We aren't going to play cards there anyway. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Astrid M, don't hurt me. Uh, it's fine. We can just Cersei this line. It's not a big deal. Then we can move a uh, Mr. Sinister over here. Or if we get like a bad card here, we can move one of those over. Uh, we want them to have priority, ideally. Uh, oh, that was really bad. Oh man. That almost turned out really good. And this is the, uh, you know, the risk that you have with Cersei, right? Sometimes it works out really well, and sometimes it's really bad. Um, I'm hesitating on this because We have some options with other combos, and I'm just trying to think if there's a better one. Uh, we lose. Because the certain Cyclops pops. So yeah, if we were just Red Hulk left, we would have won, I think. Almost assuredly, Red Hulk left would have won. Um, but, you know, it's a more fun deck. You're obviously not going to win every game, but you could see that we got very close to winning. Um, even with a deck that looks this awkward. So if you're looking for more of these weird off-meta decks, you came to the right place. I want to stick around and subscribe. Who knows? Might have fun. Hopping into game number two. Uh, and so... I think you got probably pick up on this from the way that I play, but I very much enjoy these like style of decks that have a big like kind of surprise value, I guess you could say, to them. Um, so these like Cersei Valkyrie plays where it's like you've completely flip a lane into your favor that was like obviously a dead lane to your opponent. Um, I think those decks are a lot of fun to me. Uh, this Dream Dimension is awful for us because that means we can't play Cersei on five. Uh, we have to brood middle because if we brood right, it'll fill the lane. Uh, it's Hella. Oh, it's not Hella. That's exciting. Give me wave. Give me wave. Wave. That's not helpful. He 
Yeah, I don't really want a Mordo, right? But we can't play like anything! I said Mordo, I meant Zemo. Um. Yeah, we don't really have anything that we can play. Ugh. Nice! That's useless. <sighs> My god. What a awful game. Like, I have an option of doing nothing this turn, and then Valkyrie middle, demon left. There's a world that three power left wins, I guess, and I think it's a better world than this. Like, uh... Well, six power left. Now you're speaking my language. I'm sitting here thinking, if, this is definitely not a stay, but basically we need to predict where the MODOK goes. They're up more here, so you play there is what my brain says, but the other side is like, what if they think we're surfer, then they would play here. Oh, baby. Undefeated. Uh, I mean, no, we lost the first game. but. We're pretty son of a bitch. I hate this game. Uh. Apocalypse. Tragedy. True tragedy. If we had back to back games where if we had one more randomly generated card, we would win the game. Because then Mockingbird would have been free and we could have played Demon. Ugh. The Mockingbird nerfs coming in huge. Alright, hopping into game number three. Um, see, I like the idea of Mr. Sinister right in the sentry. Because then that like fills in air quotes the this lane. Because then all we need is Cersei or Valkyrie, and we can win that lane, pretty much. Mm. Mm. Now I'm worried about an acid arrow, though. They totally played an acid arrow. Uh, it's Hood Viper. Yeah. Might as well have been an acid arrow. I mean, it's not over. Rude. Okay, well now it's probably over. There's a chance. Is it a good chance? No, no, not really. But you're saying there's a chance. All right. Wow. 
what if they have an Annihilus? Ah, uh, no, it wouldn't matter. I'd still lose if they had the Annihilus. Because they'd pull these two cards, and then these would just get destroyed. The, the, these would get destroyed before it pulled, so it wouldn't matter. Also, like, d please don't be like this guy and snap, like, this late. Like, d dude, what do you think I'm going to do? Like, please play better Marvel Snap than that. I beg of you as a viewer. Alright, hopping in to another one. You wouldn't know from watching these games. Uh, don't pull Cersei. It's the only thing I ask. Turn one Arsham. Sick! Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of fucked. So, see how we do anything here. My hood. Yeah, we'll do this right now. Just get that out of here. They can still play a freaking six drop if they have it, which is not cool. But that's a thing. Don't like that at all. Refresh the deck real quick. Um, I'm looking at Brood because we can get cost reduction here on Mockingbird. If we pull Valkyrie, we can Valkyrie there. We know they have a Valkyrie in their deck. So... That could be good. Uh... Um... Once again, hoping for a Valkyrie. Magneto doesn't really do a whole lot. Valkyrie? Mr. Sinister. Um, okay, hold on. They played these two cards. Zemo would pull a Brood or a Red Guardian. Does that matter at all? I'll uh, rock with the no, probably not. So I also don't think it's possible for them to spend all their energy. They have seven energy. Six costs would cost five. They have a demon that costs one. Eighteen here. This beats a nocturne move. We lose to location variants. All right. <laughs> Live by the sword, die by the sword. Victory. What a what a one two punch their onslaught into lizard. <laughs> Love to see it. 
We lost a game to Cersei. We won a game to Cersei. You know, it balances out. Alright. Hopping into another. Might be the last one. Not really sure. Uh, that energy doesn't do anything for us. Bummer. Now, can we get a snipe with the Red Guardian? That's the real question. They have a Killmonger in their deck, so... I'll gamble. I'm a gambler. Oh, we love it. No, we hate it. Uh... Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just what never mean? punished? What's it like to be blessed? I'll never know. Cersei! Valkyrie! ANYTHING! We are, uh, we are still up middle. I definitely need to change my underwear. Now we're gonna pull Cersei or Valkyrie, pull Blake. It's equally as useless. Um, Deadpool is at 16. Yeah, we just lose whatever lane the Deadpool's played into. I should have retreated later, but didn't matter. Two, our two win conditions were both just chilling in the bottom three, man. Like, uh, we we lose the 25% important cards in our deck. Like, unfortunate. All right, this is gonna be the last one. We have Cersei in hand. We just need some low stuff. Um, I've never been a fan of the Brooklyn Bridge. Location's weird to me. Um, Opponent snapped. I'm torn on if I want a Zemo middle or I think the middle is fine. Ayo, give me the goods. Nico Majoru. We'll just give Nebula a good old bop real quick. No, we don't have to worry about that. Can't play turn five, it's fine. What the heck? Um, that is Mockingbird or Red Hulk. 
they aren't going to play in Brooklyn Bridge this turn because they want it open for turn 6. This surfer? All systems go. The question is, can they beat 13 power left in a deck that looks to me like it's Surfer? This is just safer. Uh, eh. Yeah, we'll go the fun way. Live by the sword, die by the sword. God damn! All three of them? You know, some days it's just not your day, man. It's just, it's just, it just happens, you know? This is one of those days. Like, you know, it's fine. Just everything's fine. All right, anyway, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, let me know. Subscribe for check lights, and I'll see you in the next one.